Coal is one of our oldest energy sources, yet in recent times we've seen energy providers move away from coal towards greener sources of generating power. Well, some plastics believe they can repurpose coal in a more environmentally friendly way. Steve Moore travelled to Florida to see how their XMAP technology could revolutionise propent performance. The work taking place in this laboratory in Orlando could help revolutionize the oil and gas industry. Here, scientists with SEM plastics are creating what they call XMAT materials. It's about reimagining high performance materials. So, if you look at plastics, they have certain characteristics. They're lightweight, easily manufactured. Ceramics can handle high temperatures, uh, chemical, they're chemically resistant. Uh, metals have certain characteristics. So XMAT is really a different way of looking at materials where you put them together to make a unique high performance um, material that hasn't been made before. The inventors of the XMAT system say taking the best properties of different materials and combining them has exciting potential, particularly in the energy sector. They believe their XMAT technology could hold the key to cheaper, greener energy, using a substance not often associated with clean fuels, coal. Semplastic CEO Bill Easter shows me how his company mixes coal with its proprietary resin, a precursor to ceramic material, to create a high-performance, low-cost alternative XMAT propant for oil and gas drilling. We're taking this sand, which is silicon and oxygen, and we're turning it into a um, polymeric liquid sand, so it's silicon oxygen in this, and then we're mixing this with the coal, the carbon in the coal, and we turn it into this very lightweight propent. You know, we have to have energy, and so it really is a train, it, it's, it's taking coal from um, perhaps a, a form where we're, we're burning it, and it's giving us all these carbon dioxide and greenhouse gra gases, and we're taking it and uh, turning it into a much greener form uh, of, of, of uh, component to get out energy in a much greener way. This chamber you see sticking out the door, we, we had to create that ourselves. For Arnie Hill, Chief Technology Officer with Semplastics, the implications for the oil and gas industry are enormous, giving well drillers an alternative propent. Some of the higher dollar ceramic based propents are high density and they don't stay put. So uh, this material being strong and light, uh, it'll be easier to put into place with, the, uh, uh, with their technology and it makes it better. The coal industry has been bruised by a trend towards natural gas and alternative energy sources in the United States and elsewhere. But Semplastics believes by using it in its XMAT propant, coal may once again have a bright future in energy generation. We're giving coal a place to be used instead of burning it. We can still use it to help get energy by putting it back in the ground. We mix it with our materials and we pump it back in the ground. So the coal industry may like that. We're talking billions of pounds. And being lightweight means some plastics propent is cheaper to pump and costs less to transport than sand. The price performance ratio is like it's something that they've never seen before. So they're used to sand at the low end and they're used to ceramic at the high end. And so um, low, somewhat low performing to high performing. But in this case, you have something that is very high performance, perhaps better than ceramic and in the same cost regime as sand. So that's what's unique about it. Helping in the development of XMAT is a collaboration with the University of Central Florida, where researchers are taking a closer look at the materials. By examining XMAT materials under powerful microscopes, UCF scientists can see in detail how these unique materials hold together and look for ways to make them even lighter and stronger. And because Semplastics has found a way to use fillers such as coal to make lightweight but tough materials much thicker than ever before, they say the potential applications are wide-ranging. This is one of our prototype telescope mirrors here. This is actually just a test article. It's a scaled-down version of what we're going to deliver to NASA. Typically, it was, it was always made as a, a thin coating, this technology. Now, the breakthrough is it can go from something an eighth-inch thick, which was its limit. That's as thick as you could make this, these materials. Now they're being made inches thick. And so that, that's a game-changer right there. Um, they can, you can make bulk parts and components from XMAT. 
Meanwhile at Semplastics, the research goes on, a small company looking for never-before-discovered materials that could one day make a big difference. And with a proper investment from the right strategic partner, Exmat will move from the laboratory to energy production wells.